Welcome to the DJV on Fire podcast. I'm your host, David Joshua Vales. With me today is none other than Eric Kyle Lyde. Hello. I said that right? Yes, you did. All right. Very good. Um, I'm having to produce myself, and we've been at this for an hour and a half, (laughs) trying to get the camera working, but we'll see if it works and the recording works. And uh, otherwise, the real producer, Jonathan Andrew Vales, will have to piece it together. And make us sound good. But other than that, we might be on the split screen uh, the entire time. But how far, what do we want to talk about today? This is a second, our second annual. I, that's probably not how I should say that. It's our second uh, dinner with DJV. And uh, the first with is Alex, who you jam with, Alex, yes. a little bit. Yes, I do. He is the bass guitarist. Yes. And what do you do? Electric guitar. Electric guitar. Yes. And you are right now the one and only. But there's a couple of you that normally trade off duties. Yes, yes. yes. Um, and you're up there every week. Yeah, pretty much. Um, yeah, unless something, you know, vacation or something. But <laughs> that rarely happens. So. And we appreciate it. Yeah, do I, I mean, it. do you ever get tired of it? It's no, something no, 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 no. you can do it every week. Oh, yeah. Oh, uh, do you it. play, if it's not for church, are you playing? Do you just play play to play? I play to play, yeah. Yeah, yeah I used to playing bands and stuff but i haven't done that in quite a few years so right now uh uh, our wildlife is back we already got the cat (laughs) making an appearance so if uh, she goes flying at any point yeah (laughs) um yeah Uh, so play at church and then you know play around at home that's about it now we chatted a little bit beforehand uh you've been in a few bands Mm -hmm. uh traveled a little bit yeah quite a quite a bit so tell us some memorable family-friendly I don't, know what that, I don't know what that means, but a family-friendly uh, story about, you know, uh, any craziness. You were talking about even falling off the side of a mountain one time? Oh, almost, yeah, yeah. Uh, one of the bands I was in, we were doing, like, this five-day tour in Bozeman, Montana. And uh, it was in the middle of winter, which wasn't a good idea for Montana. <laughs> and we were playing, one of the nights we were playing a... Uh, ski resort and uh you know we had a jeep cherokee um right and it's like a you know mountain that just goes doing you know all the way up and uh pulling a trailer with all our gear in the back and it was literally one of those roads where it was like another car's coming you better be hugging one of the sides or else you're going yeah and there was a couple times where we thought we were going (laughs) Did you have to do the driving or no? Luckily, you did. I did a little bit of it, but mostly our singer did because it was his Jeep. His Jeep. <laughs> so he was like, oh, I do most of it. So. What kind of music did you guys play? Um, it was like punk rock. Yeah. Like punk rock music, yeah. Was like it all? Weezer. Oh, it was yeah. like Weezer. Weezer. Yeah, Weezer type stuff. All right, so let's stick in that lane since we're there. Okay. You play like Weezer. I appreciate Weezer. Yes. Who is your ba- your go-to band? Who do you like? Who, Smashing who? Pumpkins. Smashing Pumpkins. That's, yeah. Got you in the music. Yep. All-time number one favorite band in Never changed. Never changed. Uh, concerts? You gone to their concerts? Uh, yeah, I've seen them probably a little bit over fifty <laughs> times. <laughs> Everywhere you've traveled the country to see them, or no? Just I've traveled there's a couple different states, couple but different. most of the time, I mean, since they are a Chicago band, they're from yeah. Chicago, so most of the time it was Illinois that I saw them. Uh, I forgot that fact. Yeah, yeah. they are from uh, Chicago. Um, Pearl Jam is considered. That's mine. Pearl Jam is my band. Uh, they're more considered Seattle, yes, I believe. Seattle Grimm. But I think, I think Eddie Vedder is from like Decatur, Illinois. Yes, yeah. I'm right. Yeah, I okay. think it is Decatur. I know I he's a huge Cubs so. fan. <laughs> yes, because they love they love playing Wrigley. Yeah, and, uh, yeah. He pulls out some special um, things when he's in mm-hmm. Wrigley that he wouldn't do typically. But yeah. Smashing Pumpkins, I forgot. They went to high school. Yeah, mm-hmm. West Suburbs or something. Yeah, Glen Bar. Glen Bar. Glen Bar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Drummer from Joliet. So you got the whole package. Yeah. You know, people, people get tired of me. Have you ever done meet and greets? You know what? That's right. funny. I'm 41. <laughs> I've been listening to them since I was like 12. I have never met them. And that is literally like number one on my bucket list mm-hmm. is to meet them. Let's yeah. meet them. At least Billy Corgan, who's the singer, right. the main guitar player. Um, and he has a tea shop in uh, Highland Park. So I'm, I mean, I'm always like Nicole. We gotta go, like, cause he'll he'll like post when he's there. And yeah. I'm like, we gotta go. I gotta meet this guy. Like, you know. 
<laughs> and so, you haven't. I haven't yet. Are they still consider? Are they still playing? Oh yeah, they actually put out an album, and they're in the process of right now of recording a thirty-three song double, double album. Wow. I mean, might as well. Yeah. And he owns a wrestling company too. So a wrestling has, company? Yeah. Independent wrestling. NWA, which is the oldest wrestling organization. Yeah. Ever. He owns that. Are you are you a wrestling fan? We didn't talk about used that. Used to be. You I'm more MMA, MMA. MMA. So you like real fighting. I uh, like old MMA. Old MMA. Went before the glass. So not UFC. UFC, but 90s UFC when it was no gloves. Okay. When it was more hardcore. I mean, more people are watching, so they yeah, had to, yeah. they need a little bit more protection. <laughs> yeah. But you remember those good old days yes. of the originals. Um, yeah, so our church, if anybody forgot or didn't know this, when we were in the warehouse, we hosted an independent. Do you remember that? We hosted it, I think, twice or three times. We hosted an independent, really low budget. Okay. Independent wrestling. Okay. Uh, our main man, Jonathan, mentioned him on our last podcast, Steve Streck. Uh, he and his son have always... I know he's real big in wrestling, right? right? So yeah. he always liked the wrestling. And obviously, there's WWE, which is what everybody kind of knows. It's on TV. Um, but they come up, and we threw up the ring in the middle of the warehouse. And uh, they had a, uh, they put on a great show. I mean, it is just different. It's cool, yeah. kind of have it yeah. live. And uh, who knows now with this past year we've had how many you know how much wrestling is out there to go and watch. Yeah. You know, we can't wait maybe till the summer till things get back on it. But uh, I was a big Hulk Hogan fan. Yeah, so was I. Yeah. Hulk Hogan, Junkyard that whole dog. Junkyard yeah. dog, that whole uh, you would hit the heyday. I mean, we're close. You're younger than I, but um, that was the heyday, right when you were in that sweet eight. Uh, 14 yeah, age, yeah. right? It's about yeah. right. It was WrestleMania just started. Mm -hmm. Everybody kind of knows the name WrestleMania. Yeah. Kind of like, you probably saw some of those first few. Yeah, I went to a couple of them when they would have them, like, what, yeah. Rosemont? Yeah, the Rosemont. Yeah, yeah. yeah. the All-State Arena, for those yeah. of you that... Yeah. Uh, <laughs> but the Rosemont is what it was called back yeah. in, the, in Rosemont. Um, yeah, that was literally... We went to the very first one with yeah. Hulk Hogan oh, and wow. the... Uh, I forgot the big Russian dude. Iron Sheik? Uh, oh no, not that. Right, but he was but his tag team. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Nikolai Volkov. Yes, yes, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. We're really geeking out here. Is Derek <laughs> watching? Derek, are you watching? Are you in wrestling? We never talked about it. Um, did you happen to catch Derek's with the? Uh, I did. Yeah. Uh, all his mm -hmm. gaming and yeah. uh, his uh, his building and have you ever gotten into anything That's like cool. that? Um, I used to do model cars when I was a kid. When you were a kid. Um, I still have my original Nintendo from when I was six. Still works. Still works. I mean, you still got to do the old blow in it, and <laughs> tap it down thing, but it's still wow, the original. Still I never had the original. I had Activision. Did you ever even hear that? Activision. Activision. That was kind of neat because I had numbers and yeah. a, a dial and a little bit more than just the Atari, which was just a joystick button. But then you hit Nintendo. I jumped to Nintendo sixty four, not because I was cooler, but I my parents didn't want to chip in for the original. Oh, okay. And then finally, we got to be <clears throat> my brother and I might even he's two years older than me. We might have chipped in and bought it ourselves, yeah. uh, Nintendo 64. But I mean, you just sit and those levels of Mario. Yeah. Is that what game? Is that what game do you play? Yeah, is that the game? Yeah, yeah. Uh, were you ever a Zelda guy? A little bit. It just yeah, a little bit. It just seemed like, oh, what am I doing here? Like, yeah, I don't know. Mega Man is one of my favorites. Mega Man. Yeah. I can't say I know Mega Man. I'm on a. It's when I aged out. <laughs> Mega Man. What do you do in Mega Man? I mean, it's like the thing of different levels and bosses, yeah. but it's like, if you don't get to the end, you literally start at the beginning. Oh. <laughs> so that was it. Yeah. So it's like, shut that off. Yeah. Like, not yeah. not yeah. now. I can't. Yeah. Um, all right. We, we, we went down the road. We weren't planning on that. That's what you get <laughs> when you're dinner with DJV. Had a little pizza. Uh, can we talk about it? I didn't even say this. Yeah. Being a vegetarian. Yeah. Yeah. So we got onions, green pepper. It's delicious. Uh, was that started young? Is it more health conscious? <clears throat> um, it started young. Um, I was in the punk rock hardcore scene a lot uh, when I lived in Kankakee, which is just you know, what, like 45 minutes south of here. Or yeah. Something like that. yeah, not even. Yep. Um, so I grew up with a lot of like straight, hardcore straight edge kids. That was like, you know, no, don't drink, you know, drugs, right. no cigarettes, none of that stuff. And, Speaking really, of CM Punk for WWE, yes, he yeah, was straight yeah, edge. Yeah. Uh -huh. 
But I was really good friends with a guy who was a uh, like hardcore vegan guy. But he was like militant. Like he would go to shows and like hand out zines, pamphlets of like, you know, meat is murder and all this like okay. super hardcore about yeah. it. And um, he, got, he got me turned on to like straight up veganism. But I wasn't like militant about it. I was like, all right, this is what I'm going to do. Whatever. Okay. okay. No, I'm not going to push my stuff on other yeah. people. Did that for quite a while. Did he convince you with his argument? Is that why? Yeah. Yeah, he was very good, like, mm-hmm. very good at that kind of stuff, like, debating <laughs> type of stuff. Um, yeah, did that for quite a number of years. Uh, and then one day, <laughs> I was like, oh, I'm going to eat meat today. And I did, and got really sick. And then, I ate meat for quite a while. And then, uh, a few years ago, started not eating meat again, not because of the animal rights issue this time. It was health reasons. Like mm-hmm. health reasons. Um, yeah, so I've been doing that for... Can you tell years. the difference? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. definitely something good. Sure. Um, is it your whole family? You just stick with it? Just me. Nicole kind of does. Um, I've gotten to where I'll eat chicken every once in a while mm-hmm. because I was eating so much, like, vegetables and stuff like that. Like, I actually... I forget what the name is. You know, medical gastro something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. My stomach, my stomach muscles are not strong enough to break down vegetables that have a lot of fiber. Yeah, I got it. So I would get like these real bad like stomach cramps, stomach aches, and all that. So I had to like implement a little bit. Mm-hmm. So I will not do red meat at all though. Like it's just can't, can't do it. for both reasons. Um. Or yeah, just the health reason. mainly the health reason. Okay. A little bit of the animal one, but not because of like, oh, I'm killing this animal. It's just like yeah. disgusting to me. Like, I'm eating some flesh. Yeah. Like, uh, that just grosses me out. Um, no, I, we talked about Netflix a little bit before we started because I've watched, there's a couple of different good documentaries. I think there's two that talk about being a vegetarian. And then there's one that talks about more like keto, Atkins. Yeah. And so, and both, I'm like watching both. I'm like, all right, I'm going to be vegetarian. And then I watched the meat eating one. I'm like, oh, you know what? Maybe I should just it's stick with that. that. <laughs> and then I went back and watched the other. I'm like, could I even throw all of it? They're, yeah. They yeah, really are sides. good. And um, the one that I watched, the vegetarian, um, and if you're watching, I mean, feel free to put your comments down there <laughs> below, but because uh, each their own to me. But yeah. Um, but the vegetarian one was more of the health conscious, uh, your body's better. They try to throw numbers out as to when countries start to eat red meat and then they what they see in the, uh, in the heart-related mm-hmm. issues and those types of things. And I thought that was very – have you watched – do you know which ones I'm talking about? There's a couple. I've of watched quite a few of them, okay. so I mean I probably have. Yeah, I, I, don't I, just, I could have looked up the titles, but yeah. uh, they're on Netflix. There's a few of them. Uh, and then there was one that talked about only eating or trying to do more of a keto, paleo, which when you when I read those, it reads like eat healthy, mm-hmm. <laughs> more of a balanced yeah. meal. Now, obviously, they say, well, you got to eat a lot of protein, but it's just eating the good carbs. It's eating salads yeah. and it's yeah. eating, right? And it's not eating the breads and the, yeah. that is, can run into trouble either side, yeah, yeah. whether you're vegetarian or not, yeah. when you're eating a ton of those fast Mm -hmm. carbs right the carbs that kind of burn through the sugars and the white flowers Mm -hmm. regardless whichever one you want you could it's the argument but the one with the just eat the meat the mainly red meat was for uh, kids with autism Mm -hmm. and they found that when they ate that kind of meal again more keto so they were still eating vegetables sweet potatoes those types of things uh that they saw a difference in Mm -hmm. how they acted and yeah. grow, uh-huh. grew and improved under to me it was more because the child at the time was eating like chicken nuggets and che- cheese it <laughs> and that's all she would eat like process right just like process so I, they, they swung it from well how about we just eat keto they call it keto and all of a sudden well to me it's like oh just mean healthy mm-hmm. it's just yeah healthy. yeah yeah at the end of the day it's like just make smart choices yeah right? definitely. treat yourself once in a while definitely. but uh all right um so that was interesting. I just, mm-hmm. you, you're like, and you had, you were very good. You're, I'm like, hey, I'm going to pizza. You're like, <laughs> <laughs> you just don't get, get yeah. the meat on the pizza. I'm yeah. like, all right, sweet, that's cool. <laughs> um, 
because it could have been like, yeah, I got sausage and pepperoni. Yeah, like, yeah. no, that's yeah. not for me. <laughs> um, let's talk a little bit. You kind of said that you had a Baptist in your family. Mm -hmm. kind of like, so started you technically knowing about God. Mm -hmm. um, so just give your quick story about like, when did you really decide like, you know what, I think this is the best decision, uh, time to make it, you know, so however much you want to do before that, leading mm -hmm. up to that time or however you want to do and, yeah. and then we'll go from there. But oh. like, your come to Jesus moment. <laughs> yeah, all right. Uh, and you said there wasn't even like a ha hallelujah. Yeah, but, it wasn't. Really but when was it oh, like a decision you made? Yeah. Um, yeah, I grew up going to church basically like as far as I can remember, like my dad's dad was a Baptist pastor, so went to that church, um, which my other grandparents also went to that church too, which was nice. Um, yeah. Is that how you, you – uh, did you meet your first wife there? Is that no, you? no, okay. no, no. That was way, way later. Got it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, grew up there. Uh, you know, Sunday school thing. You know, all that stuff. Vacation Bible school. But, uh, like the Bible drills. Yeah. Like the old school Bible drills. Did those? You know, that's a big thing in Baptist churches. I don't know if it is in other churches. <laughs> it is in the Baptist. It church. was. We okay. grew up with that. Yeah. <laughs> did that for a long time. Uh, um. Yeah, eventually went to a uh, private school from eighth grade to graduate. Graduated from there. Um, just kind of like, all right, yeah, this is cool, you know. God, yeah, okay, yeah. Did Bible, did the Bible classes there, you know, all that stuff was kind of like, very right, cool. Still went to church, but wasn't like really, you know, typical thing. wasn't really like doing it's kind of stale, you know, yeah, kind of thing or whatever. You know. And then I think I was. Uh, Freshman or sophomore? No, no, two stores. Yeah, I was a freshman, and we always had uh, like an event, like a couple evangelists come to the school, and uh, I can't even remember who it was, and uh, they were just like, "All right, blah blah blah." Got it. He was pretty, like, pretty tough, like pretty tough guy, but he was really cool, a really cool guy, and uh, I was just like, "Okay, all right, this is this is what I gotta do." That was basically that was <laughs> as it. far as like yeah all right this is this is how I'm doing it like mm -hmm. type of thing. That's uh, you that. got it. I mean you, that's what you yeah. consider to be yeah. the moment yeah. that you kind of started. Now yeah. how did your how did your path go from that decision like, um, right away? I mean right away. Did you was everything you're doing? The, yeah, I mean it, <laughs> you know yeah like right away it was you're like, a super Christian for a yeah month? super Christian. You know like when people first get yeah, saved, yeah. like go about the Bible in their back pocket. I didn't do that right right. But, you know, they're like gung-ho, like, oh, blah, 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 you know. Um, it was good for a while, you know, a year or so. And then I was still, like, you know, praying and reading my Bible and all mm -hmm. that stuff. And, um, wasn't as devoted, I guess, to really spending time, I guess. You know? Yeah. I, I always prayed, though. I was always a huge prayer and, like, just being quiet and, for anyone who knows me, I'm a naturally quiet person anyway. So I'm always in my thoughts. So I am always, I guess, meditating, I suppose. Yeah. Um, and all of that. So I never, like, skewed away from that. Um, but uh, this is where it gets heavy. <laughs> <laughs> so bear with me. Um, I was a sophomore. And um, I started battling depression really bad and suicide attempts cutting so it would be dead of summer and i would constantly be wearing long sleeves mm -hmm. because i didn't want people to see my scars this is a year or so after yeah this was i was a sophomore yeah okay. this is when i was a sophomore um lost a lot of weight just wasn't eating and i was i'm a short guy and i was always kind of like a little heavier but i got like lost a lot of weight and like well, i looked sick basically um and uh all this stuff just started coming up, like, from my past, which I had always remembered, but, like, just, like, more and more, but it was, just, like, hitting me heavy, 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 mm -hmm. like, just boulders and boulders on top of me. And uh, um, my mom's been married quite a few times. Um, I don't remember my mom and my dad being together. Mm -hmm. like, she was 16. He was, like, 18, I believe. They were married maybe a year. And, like I said, his dad was a preacher, so I think it was basically, like, how you're marrying her, you mm -hmm. know, type of thing. Our, our families were friends anyway, like they, like both my grandparents, uh, 
grandpas worked at Caterpillar together. Okay. And then both my grandmas worked at the same place together. So they we all knew each other, you know. Yeah. Um. So, again, I never knew them together. My mom ended up marrying this guy who was not a good guy. Like, very abusive. Mm -hmm. Very, very abusive. Um, into drugs and all this stuff. Uh, most of the physical abuse was towards my mom. Sometimes I would think I was this tough little kid and step in, and then he'd be like, ah, get out of here, kid. You yeah. Know? Um, but, yeah, there's times I remember, like, in that, at, at the time, one of the times we lived in a house um, in, that my grandparents owned. So it was literally, like, in my grandparents' backyard, basically, probably, like, 50 yards away. Yeah, I got it. And, like, one instance is I was trying to crawl out of a, a window to go get my grandpa because – he was just giving it to her mm -hmm. and he pulls me back in, throws me in a room, locks the door. And then I hear stuff going on. I can't do anything. I'm like, yeah. I'm dying. Um, they end up getting divorced. Uh, they have a daughter who would be you know, half sister to me. Um, my mom meets a farmer from Kankakee. And then, uh, I started going to a private school down there, which will be unnamed. <laughs> um, <laughs> we can leave it at that. All right. We'll leave it at that. Um, and that's where, you know, the evangelist came and all that when I was a freshman. And, uh, um, between that a year or two years, a lot of stuff happened. Again, I was like depressed, sui suicidal stuff, all that. Um, my mom was in and out of rehab a few times, um, second floor a couple times because of like suicide attempts. Mm -hmm. like that. So it was either like I would stay at my grandparents' house and then my grandma would like take me to school. Or I would stay with this family, um, awesome, most amazing Christian family I've ever in my entire life. Um, became really good friends with uh, the second oldest. Um, were they going to the, the church? They were, were going, going to the church to? I was going to school at and church at, yes. They were very, very, very involved there. Um, became like best friends with the two middle kids, um, played guitar together, um, played in a band together. Um, just hung out. I mean, I was literally over there, like, almost 24-7. And uh, so between all this stuff, boulders on my shoulders and all this stuff going on, um, I just start having, like, this extreme hatred for the man mm -hmm. who's, I remember doing all this stuff to me and my mom. And at the time, I lived, I lived with my grandparents. Like, that's where I slept Technically, yeah. Uh, technically, that's where I live. Was with my grandparents. So is this on the same property or the other grandparents? Or like this is the same grandparents. Same yeah, parents. my mom's parents. Yeah, yeah. And um, my grandpa was a big gun guy, big hunter. Gun case locked up, but I knew where the keys were. You know, sometimes we go out and shoot. You know, all yeah, that stuff. Um, I had this brilliant idea. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it. I, <laughs> I don't. I think I. I think there's maybe a handful of people know this. I mean, like, five, like, a legit handful of people who know this. Um, so I'm like, I'm 16, you know, got your license, you know, got a car. Um, I have the plot, not just the, oh, this. This was a dead set. This is going to happen on this night. And that's it. Um, uh, okay. <laughs> Sorry. Um, I was going to murder him. Yeah. Like, I was, like, again, I knew where my grandpa's keys were. So I was going to go out, at, you know, do it at night, because I was gone hanging out with friends at night anyway, and stuff like that. Um, so I was, like, hardly at the house that much anyway. So I was like, okay, I'm going to do it on this night. I had it planned. And my thought was, is that, you know, I'm just going to go in there, not look for anyone else, just him, do it, go. Um, and I was like, okay, well, what if I get caught or whatever? Well, obviously, I probably will. I'm a stupid 16-year-old. Come on. I'm not like a mastermind or anything, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. Um, so uh, um, I'm like, well, all right, let's see if I can work the system. Because, again, my brain is like, like even I'm talking to you, I'm thinking like five, six, seven different things right now. Yeah, like my brain's all over the place, mm -hmm. which I have a hard time focusing on things um, a lot. 
Except when I'm playing guitar. Yeah. That's when I'm like, all right, everything's locked in. Sorry. <laughs> no, <laughs> I'm <good>. rambling. <laughs> it's good. Um, but uh, so my, my logical thought was is that I'm a minor. So, you know, minors usually get off with a few years or probation or juvie. Okay. And then I'll play the card of, oh, this man used to beat my mom. Yeah. Put us through hell and back and all this. So I'll probably get a little little tears from whoever with that, too. So I was like, okay, I think I'm okay. I think I'm all right. So. Is he still with your mom at this time? No. No. No, 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 no. They're, okay. they're well on divorce. Oh, okay. Yeah, because yeah, this, this would have been when I was a sophomore. Got it. They got divorced, I think I was in seventh grade. Okay. And it was before I had moved mm -hmm. to Kentucky and got I was it. going to school. Um, so that was my plan. Um, yeah, again, the day I was going to do it, this was a solid 100% lock thing. I, like, didn't care what happened to me. Like, I was just like, I want this guy off the earth. Like, mm -hmm. I legit had an insane amount of hatred for this man. Um, and I would see him every once in a while because I had a half-sister with him. So, you know, if he would drop her off or whatever. I'd be like, hey, hi. And that was about it. And yeah. Be cordial, I guess. Um, and again, the family that I would, was, uh, at, you know, would stay with, you know, quite often. Um, they were amazing. They, it's, I can't say, I can't say enough stuff about this family. But, um, they would do family devotions, all of them, like, before school. And, like, so when I would spend the night, I'd do them with them, you know? And I was like, this is, this is crazy. Like, crazy awesome. I was like, start your day this way. This is great. Like, you know, and then on the way to school, we would all pray, like, Popcorn prayer, you know, we'd all, in the car, mm -hmm. driving to school, we would all, like, pray, you know, I was like, this is awesome. So Did you when, really, when you were there then, at that age, mm -hmm. you felt comfort in that, peace in that? Oh, yeah. It oh. wasn't like something, you're like, this is ridiculous. No, 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 no this. you like, was, legit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Something yeah. different about yeah. this. And what, and even though I was, like, a Christian still, you know, and then all that, it was like, it was, obviously it was the Holy Spirit, and, yeah. and using them, mm -hmm. obviously. And they weren't thinking. They weren't thinking about you like that. They were just doing what they do. Yeah, they were doing what they did. They yeah. they have done this their whole lives. Mm -hmm. um, so one day they were doing it, and uh, I can't remember what they what verses it was or anything like that. But it was about like like forgiveness and like redemption, and all this stuff, and like the mom's reading, like the you know they're like whatever the couple verses were for the day. And, like, I just start, like, bawling like a freaking baby. Like, yeah. I'm like, holy crap. And they're like, are you okay? Are you? I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. I'm just like, this is, like, getting, you know, like, this is like, crazy. You know, I didn't say what was happening, what was going on, or anything like that. But in the in the middle of her reading that, and, like, I honestly felt the Holy Spirit, like, it's funny. <laughs> from a abuse phone like that literally knock me and be like what are you doing dude like mm -hmm. it may look like a good idea and in a humanist way sure yeah he deserves it yeah for like that way you know like take the mm -hmm. spiritual stuff like humanistic way he that man deserved it yeah in my opinion um he was like but <clears throat> okay like seriously and I was like wow, yeah, duh, like, it, it was like a flip, like, an yeah. instant, like, money, it was like, duh, yeah, I can't do that, of course, I forgive this guy right now, and it was, like, immediate, it wasn't even like, oh, I gotta pray about it, like, forgive him, what, it was like, no, I, I have to forgive him, like, that's, that's what I have to do, and, uh, so, they went on, and, it was still like, yeah, this is this is it, and like, that's how it's been. And later, I find out that him and his wife are born again Christians, and he's playing guitar at church. You didn't tell me that. No. So tell me what, like, yeah, yeah. Like, if you need a God moment, yeah. If you were, just get chills. Yeah. <laughs> I still get chills every time I think like, about it. If, like, if you need a moment. Right, like there wasn't a hallelujah when you you, you accepted Jesus. It was yeah. like, all right, I think yeah. I need to start making good decisions, yeah. better decisions in my life. 
Um, but then to go there, and you, there's not a further going this way, snap, I'm over this way, <laughs> right? And I, I can't think of another example, yeah. not in my own life, yeah. where you're yeah. like, I'm this dead set on doing yeah. this. Yeah, I mean, it There's was... nothing probably more extreme, right? Is yeah. there? Yeah. Than that. Yeah. Uh, than to be like, I got to forgive him. And it's like, poof. Uh, yeah. And again, anyone who knows me, <laughs> like knows, knows me, knows I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah. Like... I'm going to do what I want, regardless of whether or not I'm going to feel miserable doing it or whatever. I'm going to do what I want to do. Yeah. So for that to happen, I was like, I know this is like the spirit. This was, this was a hundred percent like God being like, all right, come on. Like, yeah. And now he's <laughs> playing guitar in a, a church. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I play guitar at church. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> that's crazy. Yeah. And then I always talk about a ripple effect, like a ripple effect in your own life mm -hmm. and how your life is different because of the <laughs> the redemption that was in that yeah. moment with that family. Yeah. Uh, you must think highly, fondly of that family. Oh, yeah. Do you still have any connection then? Yeah. Oh, no. Yeah. 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 I talk to them all the time. Okay. Yeah. Mostly through Facebook, me and the kid, me and the two middle kids who I was like really good friends with. Yeah. We still text. And actually, the one of them just texted me the other night. It was like it was pretty late, which I was surprised. He's like, "What's up, man?" Blah blah blah. He's like, "I tell everyone about you. Like, you taught me how to play guitar." Yeah. Blah, blah blah. And we're actually taking a vacation uh, at the end of June in uh, Georgia, where they live, and they live in Atlanta. I think where we're staying is about two hours, so I'm definitely gonna like. Mm -hmm. I'll drive two hours, yeah, or even if it's a halfway for lunch or something. I'll Definitely, because I haven't I haven't physically seen them. Well, no, I saw them about two years ago. A couple years ago, yeah. Um, are they still in the old town where they were? Where you you grew up with them? Like, is that where they their family still is? Or no, anything? they they're all moved all to all uh, Georgia. Georgia, yeah. Oh, they're all in Georgia. Um, yeah, like the oldest son um, that I like first became like really good friends with. Started hanging out. He went to a Christian college. I think in Tennessee. Mm. Um, they all went to like Christian college yeah. and stuff. So they all like moved down south and then the mom and dad, like the dad got a job down in Georgia. So they moved there and then after they got out of college they just all moved they just all went to Georgia. Yeah. So they all live around around the parents still. So And they're all still believers? Yeah, oh, yeah. 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 No, oh yeah, hardcore. Yeah. Like um my friend, the oldest one, I'm not naming names obviously yeah. just because um he is a associate pastor. Okay. And the middle kid who I'm also really good friends with. He used to um, uh, be like head of like I guess like the media tech stuff at. Uh, I'm gonna get the church wrong. It's like the huge church in Georgia, like yeah. Twelve Stones or tw Stone or something like that. It's they do a lot of curriculum stuff. Yeah, I think uh, Second Place is doing their their uh, the one thing. The leadership. Yes. The, uh... I yeah, yeah. I the think beta group? I think it's from that. I think you're right. Yeah. I think Lauren mentioned that. Yeah, but he used to go there. Okay. Um, so they're very much involved still in church. Wow, well, that's awesome. That's awesome. Um, talking about sticking with the ripple effect for a second and how you've continued. You're like, you taught that guy guitar and, and the people that you've run into and, um, you know, your own kids, you know, being there for them. Mm -hmm. And... And, uh, so that's your aspect. Like you can't even, you couldn't have fathomed in that moment, mm -hmm. the effect. Yeah. And the people you're able to reach yeah. even now, <clears throat> even playing guitar on the stage. Mm -hmm. Like we literally, I think today was our hello moment. I don't know. We might've said hello once or twice before mm -hmm. and church been passing, but you know, uh, but I've seen you up there for, and I've been going there since 2012. Right. right? Yeah, like yeah, forever. Yeah. And part of that is what I've always, you know, I've taken blame on that, but like, for reaching out but to me I, like I knew I seen your faithfulness mm -hmm. with being up there and playing and so even something simple you're just like I'm just playing guitar mm -hmm. right lead worship like uh, to me that that's a ripple like I see that guy if you would have been gone for quite a while mm -hmm. I'd be like what happened yeah. where's this where's the dude I'd ask <laughs> yeah. Maurice I'm like where's that the dude that plays all the time yeah. <laughs> uh, but there's a ripple effect there and can I don't know if you could speak to do you know anything about your stepfather's past before that that's who you're talking about right your stepfather yes, yeah do you know anything before because yeah, you were um, so young but and i'm just again i'm kind of like asking for a point but mm -hmm. did you know anything about his past prior to that 
I I mean, as far as I know, I think it was pretty good. Yeah. Like, um, we used to. He's from Daytona, okay, Florida. So we would go down there like every summer. Like his parents were still married together. Like mm-hmm. so, we would like yeah, we would literally go on a you know vacation Daytona Beach every summer, Disney, all yeah. that stuff. Like literally every summer. Um, it was always it seemed great. Yeah. So I don't know. I mean, he was a big drinker. Mm-hmm. Um, and he only acted that way, obviously, when, like, 95% of the time mm-hmm. when he was drunk, um, which I think is most cases when people are crazy alcoholics like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, as far as I know, I don't, Yeah. I never, you know, I was, again, so young, but I never remember noticing anything. And then having, having him change his life around at some point. Yeah. Um. For as long as you stayed in touch, because you said you'd see him once in a while. Once in a while. As far as you know, at that time, there had been no change. As far as I as know. As and, you know. And again, it was just like seeing him when he would drop my sister yeah, off. Literally. You know, and whatever. That was uh, bad. And so does your, you still see your sister? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Is she in the area? Braidwood. Yeah. Braidwood. Yeah, yeah. Braidwood or Cold City, one of those, because, you know, they're, to me, they're literally yeah, right there. They're the yeah, same. Yeah. Uh, uh, all right, and then he is, was, was he moved on? Yes, he? he used they used to live in Custer Park, yeah. and then he retired, and they moved to Florida. So they live in Florida. Back in Florida. I think in one of those like gated communities. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Things, but um, but think about the ripple effect that he's been have in his into the positive, mm-hmm. and now he's up there, um, and uh, how God uses the situation. It's not always. Yeah, that's <laughs> not how you might have ought to have written it. Yeah, uh, for sure. You're yeah. like, could have been a lot easier, God, if you would have done something. But um, you know, everybody's got a story. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. I asked you, like, well, let's hear your story, man. That's kind of why we're doing this. Yeah. It's just like hear your story and, mm-hmm. and for people to hear it and be like, this. Now you'd be like, there's nobody's got a story like mine, but like, you never know, like yeah. who's who's going to pick this thing up and who's going to hear it, and then uh, who can be like, wow, that. That's speaking to me a little bit. So I appreciate your vulnerability there, which has been key. You said you've kind of picked up, I think you reached out maybe a month ago and you're like, started watching podcasts. I've watched them all. I'm caught up. I watched them all in one day. Yeah. Yeah. Which is pretty, yeah, right. Which is pretty cool, but it was, it was neat, right? Like, tell me a little bit about like, or I put you on the spot because we didn't (laughs) pre-talk, but like, uh, you know, like. What did you glean? It doesn't have to be. It could be one person. You're like, well, I didn't know that about that person. Mm-hmm. Could you watch, you know, you had Joe's to start and then yeah. you had Yells and then, you know, you, I don't know if you're all the way caught up, but like, it, what, what, so. what made you watch all of them other than to be like, well, just so I could say I watched them all. Yeah, the yeah, 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 yeah. Is that the only, or yeah. is it like no, no, something no, about no, like, they're, yeah. they're interesting, aren't they? Yeah, and I, I know, I knew all the people. Yeah. Basically. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I thought they were very interesting. Um, I think it's the thing of like, you know, we were saying we always had to like, you know, to get to know a person, but it was yeah. literally like a minute long. And it's like, okay, well, I, I, know get couple, to know. I know a couple stats on these people. Yeah. Right, um, yeah, I don't know. It was just like, all right, well, this is a church thing. I'll, obviously, I'm going to at least watch one to support it and then check it out. But Yeah. And I didn't even go in. I, I don't even think I went in order. Like yeah, the first one I watched, I think was, uh, I think was Hannah's. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> I we think, I think so. Matt, a couple of Jeremiah. Yeah. 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 You kind of just started clicking. Yeah. And then, and then I started at the beginning. Oh, all right. And then, and then, <laughs> uh, Hannah's was interesting. She was a music yeah, one. Yeah. She talked about, um, her, I, when I first asked her, she was up there singing cause she, she takes her turn. She's not up there every week like you, but, uh, talking about singing and just being in her own, Mind, we talked a little bit about you because you said you were even a thinker back then. Like praying is one thing you've just always felt like you've done. Mm-hmm. And it's quiet time. It's just, you say your brain's always everywhere. Well, I always joke. I always joke with Nicole. <laughs> I've never been diagnosed. But I always joke and legit say I have Asperger's yeah. or like or like on the spectrum, like yeah. for real. Like uh-huh. the stuff on, like, that happens. But, yeah. So yeah, it's... it's I was always a weird kid in the family. <laughs> <laughs> but you find the music, you, you mentioned as you were flying through your story, you like to pause, you like music. So one time it's like, Phew. oh, yeah. Yeah. I'm in there. Like, even at church. It's like, when I feel good. Oh, yeah. Because even, yeah, even at church, like, um, 
like I like people, I'll like sit around and you know talk. And the same with you, like if I'm talking to somebody, I, I don't. Ooh, it's windy outside. <laughs> I want to be like, all right, what's up? What's up? You know. Um, but even then, it takes a lot for me to do it. Like mm-hmm. every, like even this, like to do this yeah. is like I'm like shaking in my boots. Yeah. Like every word that's coming out of my mouth. But like, it it has to be like because of like I think you know even though like again Pumpkins aren't a Christian band. But I think God was like, okay, here's this that will lead you to this, that will lead you to this, that will lead you to this type of thing. That's what I believe. Yeah. Um. So like, yeah, even like, I'll be you know sitting in the chair on a Sunday, getting ready to go up, and I'm like, dying. Yeah. And it, it's literally like when I put the guitar on, it's like, like for real. I don't. I that's the best way I can explain. Yeah. It's just like everything like shuts off it's awesome it's like yeah yeah that's awesome that he gives you that uh that peace and that that opportunity and be like yeah that's where it is and then that you're using it every week for that you made a joke or someone made a joke like you're up there more than uh mike and yeah i always make a joke that i've been up there more than the worship (laughs) leaders (laughs) Uh, but we appreciate it and it sounds great it. and uh, Jonathan's always on sound he's not here so I give him a plug but he's always on sound so he knows the, the pieces to turn up yeah. Like, yeah. I'm like you know you play lead in it, but sometimes like if you got you had him up a little bit higher this week he's like yeah I did I'm like alright yeah. yeah. I like it back there because yeah. does he you, you're through the soundboard right yes or, yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know like, was there a time you were just like amped up up there like he, you control what, what everybody heard or no it's always been through the well, it's like a two for thing. Okay. Like, like at the warehouse, we had like that closet in the back. Yeah. So we had amps back there. Okay. So like me and Jared's amp would be back there, and they would be mic'd. Okay. So oh, then, I didn't know. Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. The so more it would you know. still be going through the system, but we could still control like yeah a little bit all of our stuff. Yeah. You right. know, because we're big into like the pedals, like yeah. doing all the crazy sounds, so we can control all those things. But as far as the volume, that's like yeah. Jonathan or Kells or you know, yeah. Ryan. Now, Ethan, my 11 year old, he's, we talked a little bit beforehand, like he's in the guitars, he's got an acoustic, he's learning that through Micah, uh, but he has officially asked for an electric guitar. So nice. I'm nervous because <laughs> like all, like I said, I played Amazing Grace on acoustic when I was five years old. That was like it. Uh, and then Guitar Hero was the next thing. So, but I don't, it's moving into a field that I'm not yeah. comfortable with. You know, <laughs> my oldest plays, uh, my oldest son plays uh, volleyball. My daughter could dance. I'm not sure of that. Uh, but, you know, I'm like, does the wife do anything about that or what? Yeah. <laughs> um, and then Jonathan plays volleyball. He's a runner. Okay. Uh, but now Ethan, he's a drawer. Can we talk about your daughter a little oh, bit? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because oh, uh, sure. Nora is a, a riot. Um, <laughs> she's she's interesting she's interesting she's awesome she's so cool so she is so cool like that's that's the phrase because uh, i did the crossing so the crossing is it was fifth and sixth grader at the time i think i met him when she was in fifth grade um and then i don't know if they changed the grade right away and then she jumped into junior high yeah it was weird because yeah. she's in is she officially six or seven she's in seventh. seventh yeah so she would have officially been out plus we threw COVID in there last yeah. year and so i didn't get as much time with her on Sundays as I would have liked, but, um, you know, playing games, drawing, you've mentioned she's a huge artist. Mm. Like she draws things and you're like, she read the Pictionary and I told them that, uh, she'd start out slow and then people would be like, you got to draw faster. But then the second she was done, it didn't matter how much time was on the clock. You're like, Oh wow. That's, (laughs) that's exactly what it was supposed to be. You know, you draw on a car and you know, people do three rectangles and she draws a car and it's, got a spoiler it's detailed she's got yeah details yeah. she's got someone waving in the window <laughs> and this was and she's like 11 eight, 10 years old i think at the time uh, but she's got a gift there um the drawing music um not yet she can sing she's got she's a pretty a, she, she can she's sing a, she's got a pretty voice um she can uh play the ukulele yeah nice. a month or two ago she asked me she's like is it weird that I want an electric guitar? And I'm like, no, why would that be weird? She's like, well, because I'm a girl. And I'm like, uh, no, let me show you these yes. girls who can play. So I want to get her electric uh, So, all right, can we stay in that lane for a second? Do you know Lizzie Hale? Oh, from Hailstorm? From Hailstorm, yeah. Oh, yeah. Dude. Yeah. They are so good. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're geeking out a little bit on music. But, so strange yeah, like connection. Band, like a metal like, band. 
like uh, she was, I was in Georgia, speaking of Georgia, but I was visiting my cousin and I was on a run and I was listening to like, you know, Spotify or whatever. Mm -hmm. And this group comes on and she's doing all the talking. I'm like, why is she talking? Right. Mm -hmm. Like, I thought this was heavy metal, blah, blah, blah. Like, kind of like that. I guess that sounds sexist now. (laughs) But at the time, like who, who, you could go back to the, like Stevie Nicks, I guess. Right. But, um. So I listened, I'm like, wow, that's good music. And then she was on the, I think it was the Country Music Awards with Eric Yes, she was. Church. With Eric Church. She sang with Eric and Church. And she yeah. blew it away. Yeah, she's awesome. Yeah, she, she blew it away. I, and it literally was like that weekend. Um, don't turn this off yet. we got to get to our quotes. But <laughs> but she blew it away. I'm like, wow, she is good. And she had been singing since she was 13. Mm-hmm. I think she was 13. Okay. So I think it's time to get your daughter. Yeah, Did you get her a guitar? So. Or have, is she working on I haven't gotten her one yet. I haven't gotten her one yet. Uh, but, uh, that'd be cool. Yeah. That's not bad. To get her up on stage, yeah. you could have another lead up there. Right, that would be awesome. Um, or have her and Ethan yeah. rocking out. They could draw together and then start their own band together. Yeah, who knows what Rowan will do? He's you know, still little. Yeah, so then you got a younger dude, one, so, yeah. Rowan. He, yeah. You said he's like fifteen months. Yeah. He was hesitant to give me the months because, <laughs> you know, I'm the same way. I'm like, yeah. it's one or two. Like, yeah, how old yeah, is right, it? Yeah. Like, all right, fifteen yeah. months. Uh, yeah. It's still a young one, so we'll see where that goes. But uh, oh, one more thing with Nora too. Yeah, the drawing. Uh, she's gotten really big into like SFX, like special effects. She's like ridiculous, like like the stuff. Cool. I'm like, this looks like a real gash in your yeah. face right now. Yeah, like, it's crazy. So we buy her like the fake latex, the fake blood, like all that stuff. Like it just, she's got these like huge gallons of fake blood that yeah. she'll be using like the wax. Does she do it on herself? Yeah, she's done some on me, like. Yeah, there's that's. I mean, she could go famous on Instagram, yeah, right? right? Yeah. Isn't it? I was all like, you need to stick with this. Like, yeah, good. Wow, you got it all so, lined up for her. Hopefully. But she could. Do, she's. She's. What I like is her confidence and willing to. I think she seems like one that would be willing to try anything. Yeah, she's not gonna let. Oh, we're back. <laughs> um, she's not gonna let a fear. It's it gonna seems like I only knew her for a year. Yeah. So you could be yeah. like, but she was a very confident and. Um, was willing to take a step out there mm-hmm. and and that's kind of like what what the challenge is what my instagram is about it's taking challenges and so for someone that young to kind of get that and you're able to instill that in her mm-hmm. and uh you know that's pretty cool as well um let's get to the quotes <laughs> i sent you a week's worth yeah i'm gonna try to get this cat off of here um I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go in date order. I don't know how they came through over on your phone. Okay. So March 29th is our first one. Right. Oh, yeah. Sorry. No, no dates, Joe. That's, that's going to be a running gig. Uh, life is under no obligation to give us what we expect. Wow. If that didn't speak to your story. <laughs> yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, right? Like, yeah. I don't know. I don't think my writing has anything to do with that. But um, <laughs> life is under no obligation to give us what we expect or sometimes think we deserve. But... Mm-hmm. Uh, that a good one? Just keep scrolling. Like, uh, yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> right? I mean, that's, I said it, it says it in this, yeah. your old story answered yeah. that one. So, uh, the successful warrior is the average man with laser like focus. Yeah. Um, you feel like you're an average man? Hmm. No, I don't actually. Yeah. <laughs> um, trying to think here. Uh, What it reminded me of yeah. while you're thinking uh-huh. is uh, like, laser, let's call you an average man, mm-hmm. even though we are not. <laughs> but when you grab that guitar, yeah. like to me, that's when you got like your laser like mm-hmm. focus is mm-hmm. when you've got that thing in hand. And then like whatever you had throughout your day or whenever those like old feelings are coming up, like yeah. this is like, mm-hmm. so I don't know if it ties exactly to what I probably meant by this at that point, but that kind of like reminds me of you. These are just randomly chosen. Like right. this is just your week, but I was uh, like, like I could see you in at least in those first two. Yeah. And I, uh, if I'm into something, I'm like into something. Mm-hmm. So like that the laser focus thing, I'm yeah. like, like if I'm going to be like, okay, I'm going to do this now. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm going to be all into it. Like, yeah, which you spoke to a little bit. You're like, you can't really talk me out of it. <clears throat> but I decide yeah. I'm going to do it. Yeah. That's kind of like your laser light yeah. focus, yeah. for sure. Um, like, all the jobs I've had. Like, like painting now, I'm, like, constantly, even now I've been doing it off and on for, like, 15 years. Yeah. Um, I'm still constantly, like, all right, what else is there? I was I used to be a pastry chef. So I was, kind of, I was like, all right, everything about pastries right yeah. now, nothing else in there. 
So. Well, that's setting the goals. Yeah. Like, um, and who's to say that that is supposed to be something you do for life, but you're like, this is what my challenge is right now. Mm -hmm. I'm going to tackle it. Yeah. I think a lot of people have to hear something like that. Yeah. Like, this is it right here. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean you're going to be pastry forever. Maybe yeah, you are. Yeah. You never know. Yeah. But, but while you're at it, why not just give it mm -hmm. that laser-like focus? Yeah. Uh, progress over perfection. That was a nice, simple one. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, let me read through that first one. Most of us don't have any control outside of our four walls right now, but you absolutely can prove yourself in some way over the next month. So far, people have committed to running more, walking more, eating less, praying more, fasting more, and lifting more. Just set a daily or a weekly goal and strive to hit it. Write it down or say it out loud. So it's not about being perfect, and probably when you started, all those jobs yeah. they weren't perfect no. but like just making strides and the next time be better be better yeah. be better and that's yeah. why you play guitar as well as you do yeah. probably <laughs> yeah. did you think let's side note did you yeah. think that you were i mean did you come out of it and it, it was natural in your hand did you have a love for it and then realize you're gonna have to work at it to get good when i started playing guitar yeah. um i had a little it's, it's funny that it took the pumpkins to have me play guitar because my dad played guitar. I had an uncle who played guitar. My dad was in like some bands and stuff and then he like quit doing that and found out he liked doing sound more. Mm -hmm. So he did sound for bands. Um, yeah, so it's interesting. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this, <laughs> this whole dinner with DJ V today, yeah. <laughs> um, it's like, it all comes back to the pumpkins. Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, but, um, how he uses I, it. I actually caught it pretty quick. Yeah. Yeah. I actually, yeah, I actually did. Like, I, I found, like, I still know very little, like, actual music theory, but I, I realized I was very quick to, like, listen to a song, and pick out, like, what notes they were and yeah. like, what chords they were. Um, our family favorite movie is School of Rock. Mm -hmm. Can you appreciate that movie? Yeah, I think I like it. Okay. I think it's funny. It is funny. It kind of. Michael always talk about school rock. Too. At some point, they they're like, uh, "Okay, we're gonna have to wrap up this movie," and then it goes off the rails, and you're like, yeah. "Wait, he just almost got arrested." But, yeah. but when you mention music theory, he's like trying to teach these kids, and yeah. I'm like, "Gotta appreciate it." So when when Ethan like hears a song, I'll play on the radio. He's like, "That's from School of Rock," yeah. but I'm like, "Well, that's one of the most famous bands from the '80s." Yeah. Like, you, you know, you don't even know yeah. like, exactly, but. Um, <laughs> But I think that's cool. I, we're all about like, you know what I mean? Like, be eclectic. Yeah. Know about everything. So, uh, yeah. It's just, it's just, it's when it's, mm. it's good music. Yeah. <laughs> you're yeah. missing out on things yeah. if you're. Yeah. I did hear on the radio just today. I'm going into work and they're like music from the '80s, the '90s, the 2K, and today. Mm. Stupid cats back. Um, but I'm like, wow, you got to throw in the 2K. Yeah. It's literally the two tw 2020s yeah. now. So like you got to throw in two K, yeah. you shoot two Ks, then two tens, and then like yeah. that's how far we are from <laughs> the eighties so and the nineties when it was real music. Yeah. Oh yeah, uh, <laughs> April first. Choose the pain of yes over the pain of no, and it's more about regrets. Uh, a lot of us say, "Well, I got to do that. I got to do that." Mm -hmm. Then the next day comes and you re you're like, "Oh, so you have a pain either way." Yeah, yeah, it, yeah. Uh, not that it's easy yeah. at all, yeah. but, uh, you know, if you're like, well, you might as well just do it. Yeah. I uh, used to be the other way over. I was like, nah. Yeah. And then it was, I don't know what happened. I'm sure something happened. Yeah. Where I was like, nah, pumpkins. Yeah, pumpkins. <laughs> Maybe. Who knows? I don't know. Um, but yeah, then I was eventually like, well, like the same thing, like pain either way, like pain, oh, I regret that I didn't do this and I don't know what the outcome was going to be. Mm-hmm then you know do it and then yeah see what it is good or bad at least you did it yeah. <laughs> you know, like um yeah that's a good one right there uh i had that come up in another quote so mm. it's, anytime i get those like god moments like i just read something and then you like walk in you say something like okay that's mm. like yeah. he god <laughs> likes to double down on me lately yeah. like he'll hit me with something like that I had been just just heard from over here, maybe mm -hmm. just in a passing, and then like this person's I'm like, oh wow, okay. Now I now I heard that twice. There's a reason yeah, I heard that yeah. twice. So yeah. uh, effort is the true source of pride, not results. That kind of goes along with progress over so yeah, perfection. Yeah. But, 
some people don't try something because they aren't good at it. Intimidated at the gym, can't run fast, think you're too old to learn something new. <laughs> um, but this, okay, this goes along with Nora. Like, she's not intimidated to try something. At least as far as I could tell. Yeah. She's willing to try it. Yeah, for the most. Yeah. For the most for part? The most. So you got a story for her? Or like, no. That's, no. Nah. Uh, <laughs> will she, if you try some new food, will she try it? No. No. She's hard set on her oh, diet. Yeah. That's the one thing. Yeah. Um, but when she walked into the class, we'll bounce back to her for a second. Because right. when she walked into the fifth, sixth grade class, there's no reason that, like, all of those fifth graders are nervous because they're in the new group of these mm -hmm. new sixth graders who've been there. Mm -hmm. And there's typically, just like any school, when you move up like that. But um, she was the first one. I'm like, hey, we're playing this game. I need someone to volunteer. And she was like, first one up to there to volunteer. Uh, you know, hey, who remembers the Bible verse from last week? Like, first one with her hand raised. Like, those are things that if you compare to, you know, someone else, they'd be like, oh, I'm too intimidated to say something. I don't want to go up there. I have a fear of, you know, feeling embarrassed. Like, yeah. That's one thing that she does, didn't seem to have uh -huh. at that moment, which I tend to, you learn a lot, even at an older age yeah. from kids, people <laughs> that are younger than you, yeah. like, and how, to, how you should t tackle things. Uh, all right, I think I got a couple more. If you're going to do something, you might as well attack it. <laughs> all right, speaking of that. Yeah. Wow, these are all, this whole week. It kind of goes with the laser focus one, too. Yeah. Kind of, you know, like, just go for, just do it. Just go for it. Like, <laughs> yeah, we did have some draw, stories you it. could share with, uh, <laughs> with people that follow up on your story to begin <laughs> with, but, like, that you'd be like, yeah, I did that for a lot of my life, and, yeah. and so you're like, some good, some bad. Yeah. Um, lessons nonetheless, yeah. uh, for sure. I think you could take away, and you mentioned how God, like, you're like, this started here, and then we went here, and then we went here. Oh, this is what it was for. Yeah. And that, that plays a big part. Um, and I'm seeing that as you get older. It's trying to, like, teach the in-between generation, I think, of how that's going to, like, how do you tell them to just be patient? I know. It's... Right? <laughs> and you don't want them to, you're like, I don't want you to live my life. Yeah. I want to protect my kids from having to live something like that, but they're going to go through their own set of things. Yes. And it's like, how do you convey? Like, just trust me on this. I know. It's, yeah. Just listen to me. Yeah. Trust me. Like, it's going to work out. Yeah. And like, God's got something for you. We just can't see it. Uh, that was my biggest thing is like, it's it's so out there. Like, if if he told you why you're going through something, you'd be like, no, no, no that's mm -hmm. not. Right? Can you look back at like your story and be like, no, 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 that's not how it's gonna end. It. Like, that's not how it'll be when I'm 41. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, yeah, yeah. yeah. And yet, yeah, here I, you are. Truthfully, being a teenager, I I would figure I'd be dead. Like yeah. honestly. And that's scary, yeah. Yeah. And then you'd be like, well, this is where you're gonna be, and you'd be like, no, it's not. Yeah. No way. <laughs> you're like, I'm gonna have you know, I've touched that many people. I'm gonna do this, yeah. this family, like. All right, so that's why sometimes that's why sometimes like just can't because because yeah. you know, just just trust us like everybody at home. <laughs> He's got a plan. Yes, you may not even understand if he tried to tell you. So uh, you don't have to believe every. Oh, dude, this week <laughs> did you see that last one? You don't have to believe every stupid I heard thing. Like you, different orders. Thing. Oh yes, yes. Yeah, I had a different, but like. To me, every single one of these goes with something you said, yeah, yeah, pre-conversation, yeah. in your story, how you kind of like, you don't have to believe every stupid thing you think. I'm not calling them stupid, by the way. What I'm saying <laughs> is like, if you listen to that story over the last, uh, you know, 45 minutes, like, you know, and you're like, at some point you're like, okay, I don't have to believe that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? Like sitting in a car with that family. Yeah. You're like, I don't have to believe that. Yeah. And you, and you were able to, like, hear the Holy Spirit. You said, you used the phrase, like, Holy Spirit, nudge me. Is that what you said? Or uh, when you were in the class. say? When they were doing their devotions and yeah. you were doing your popcorn prayer. I mean, it literally felt like he just, like, hit me. Yeah, like, I mean, yeah, that's what you literally said. just whacked me. Yeah. Um, pretty powerful. I appreciate you sharing with us today. Uh, <laughs> did we cover? What else do we want to talk about? We hit it all? Anything else? So. I, uh, Anything else you wanted to share when you were driving here? You're like, I got to make sure I talk about this. Or you might have been like, I don't even know what I'm going to talk about. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't 100% sure I was going to talk about that main thing. Yeah. I was like, 
really wrestling with that mm-hmm. one. Even though I said some people know it's yeah, this is gonna be. <laughs> well, in this st- like there you go, you go lay that story out. You're like, okay, what's the point of it? And then when you say like, okay, I'm driving in that car and I go from this to that, mm-hmm. um, and be like, that's why you said it. And yeah. and whether someone's at that had a situation like mm-hmm. that and they still deal with that in their thoughts and during all their praying, and yeah. you said this, this all came after that time we accepted Jesus, yeah. where people are like. But well, when you say accept Jesus, shouldn't it all just be yeah. like roses? Like, yeah. no, that's when it just starts. Most of the worst stuff was after. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> and uh, that's when the battle. Yeah. But you know, are, are you, do you even have that battle take place if you don't accept Jesus? Like, can you even get to that point? How do I? How do I want to word that? Like, do you have to? Be, there is a struggle there. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like a good versus bad that you yeah. played out Over, yeah. for days and weeks and Over years. Sure. Um, but without Jesus, would there had even maybe just overtaken by darkness? I think so. And, that, and so you're like, could it have been easier? Maybe, but I don't think it could physically have been, mentally been possible yeah. for it to go a different way. Mm-hmm. But because of how what you had gone through when you were younger. Yeah. And I think everybody can speak to that, some kind of story at that age whether that extreme or on a lower level or whatever, but yeah. that's the importance of this. And, you know, I, some people look at the view counts here, like we keep hitting a hundred. I'm like, wow. Hmm. And whether that's like all the aunts and uncles and you know, whatever, yeah, or, yeah. but like people are hearing it. Yeah. And, uh, and even this is going to be up there and like, people are going to come back and revisit it. You know what I mean? Or someone new to second place in two years, is going to be like, Oh wait, I saw this on YouTube. Like, yeah. And you're going to go back and people are going to hear this be like, you know, there is a reason for it. Mm-hmm. And uh, hopefully you appreciate sharing because I appreciate yeah. you sharing yeah. it. Yeah, definitely. But even for your own self to just say it again out loud, yeah. be like, yeah. there is a reason for that as well. Yeah. I'm finding a lot of reasons yeah. lately <laughs> in my life. Maybe yeah. I'm getting older, but yeah. like there's lots of, it's Same. everything's got a reason. Yeah. You know what I mean? But, it's pretty cool. I appreciate you coming. No problem. Uh, one thing, though, I yeah. wanted to go back to. This is just a little thing. Yeah. Um, well, not a little thing, but a big thing. Um, when I decided not to do it, and I later, later, later found out that he wasn't, that the man was a Christian. So I don't know where he's at now, so I have I can't say it to where he is now. Yeah. But it's like, with him being a Christian then and being involved in his church like what if i would have done that like what would I, what what did i stop what would i have possibly stopped mm-hmm. so like that's the biggest thing i take from it like, mm-hmm. like i don't know this gets crazy <laughs> mm-hmm. like if i would have gone with the act of doing that mm-hmm. like yeah i don't know i mean again i don't know where he's at now how yeah. many people he's led to christ or just I mean, just witnessing yep. whatever I, who knows what I, mm-hmm. what I you know, possibly could have, mm-hmm. you know, stopped him from doing. <laughs> yeah. But you didn't. Yeah, but I didn't. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't. And both of you had uh, the ability to, to, to go on mm-hmm. and uh, reach people, continue to reach people. And um, with your music, with your example, yeah. uh, and wherever your new target or next target will be. The way you tackle things and the way we've talked the last couple hours, like, it's pretty cool. Yeah. So I'm glad we got to talk a little bit. Too, Finally meet you. Yeah. Meet you and talk to you. Long overdue. Uh, <laughs> for sure. I agree. Um, all right. I'll close this out with the quote, Jim Quick quote, uh, one life, just one. Speaking of which, right? Uh, why are we not running like we are on fire towards our wildest dreams? Um, Eric, Kyle. Lyde, yes, and uh, David Joshua Vales, Jonathan Andrew was not here, so hopefully this turns out all right. <laughs>